everybody, I'm Corinne Blackstone and welcome to my craft room. Before we get started, be sure that you have signed up for my newsletter over at CorinneBlackstone.com. I post lots of fun things there, I share some cool stuff so you don't want to miss out and don't worry, I don't spam your email every day, every week. I very rarely send the newsletter so you won't have to worry about getting a ton of stuff in your inbox and filling it up. Now in today's video, this is a really fun one and especially something that I think a lot of people need to learn how to do is how to make a mock-up. And if you don't know what a mock-up is, it's basically this. It's where you show something that you can create without actually having to physically make the item. So this is great if you are a seller, you don't have to make the product and then hope that it sells. You can make it, garner interest, show people what it would look like, and it's a great way to really save yourself some money. You can make them for t-shirts, signs, all sorts of things. And if you've ever watched me during a Design Bundles dollar deal sale, we talk about mock-ups quite a few times during that because there are some that look really bad and some that look amazing and you'd never know were a mock-up. I'm going to show you how to make the ones that look amazing. We're going to be using Cricut Design Space. I'm going to show you how to actually export the PNG from Design Space in a much simpler way and it's going to be super high quality. And then we're going to be using Canva and you can do this completely for free with Canva. And we're going to make a fun t-shirt mock-up. I'll show you how to download it. So let's go ahead and get started. Whatever we would do, we do it just for fun. To make a mock-up, you're of course going to need a design. So I'm going to show you really quick just how to make a design. Um, but you can really use anything that you want, an SVG that you've downloaded, something like that. But truly, whatever you want. So we're just going to add some text and... Let's just make a shirt that says cat mom. So we're just gonna type in cat mom and then we can really do whatever we want with this. But I thought it would be really fun to use one of the stacked fonts so that I can show you kind of how fun this is to play with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my fonts and find one of my stacked ones, which I swear one of them is named like rainbow something perhaps. It is, so this is the one I'm thinking is, this one's called Rainbow. I'll link the font that we're using down below. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make this bigger, and I think that's pretty cool, but I think I kinda wanna make the letters all different colors. And then what you wanna do is go to Advanced and ungroup it to Letters. This is probably the easiest way to do it, but there are tons of ways, so do whatever works best for you. Then I'm gonna go ahead and select some colors for these. So I want to do this color right here next to where it says basic cut. And I don't like these colors. So I'm going to go to the advanced option and I'm going to just find some more like pastel versions of the colors that I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and change each one of these. And by going to advanced, I can just change up the colors a little bit to more of what I'm trying to achieve with my colors. You can really get it down to really specific colors. And if you have a hex code, you can put that in there as well. But I think I'm going to do kind of like a pastel-y rainbow look for this. So of course we're going to do Roy G. Biv, but I did skip the uh, R because I don't like a pastel red because it ends up looking very um, like pink. So this one's going to be blue. So I'm just going to use my little slider bar. I'm going to take it to like a medium blue and then I'm just going to find a blue that I like. And then I'm going to go here. Now, if you are doing this for mock-ups, just make sure whatever colors that you're putting here are actual colors you're going to be using. Um, if not, it won't look right. So I'm just going to kind of, that's a little, I think, too pink. I want to go a little more on the end of purple. And then this one is going to be pink. So I'm going to slide this into our pinks and find a good pink. And there we go. So there's the design. Super easy. Now, if you're going to be using this as a mock-up, you need to make sure that the item is actually set to a print then cut. So what I'm going to do is select everything and I'm going to use the option for flatten. Now, if you are going to be using this for cutting with HTV, something like that, I always do recommend saving two different versions. So I'm going to save one version as Cat Mom HTV. Just go ahead and save that. Then I wanna save a second version of this, which will be the mock-up version. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flatten and that's gonna turn it into a print then cut. The reason you wanna save it as a print then cut is because it gets rid of all the black lines around it. And when we go to save this and export it over into Canva to make the 
mock-up. You don't want those black lines because it looks really, really fake and really, really cheap. So once I've got it saved this way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to save and save as. And this time I'm going to save it as Cat Mom Mock-up and click save. Now we do have to do one more step here in Design Space. So I want you to go to the My Stuff option, find the Cat Mom mock-up, and I want you to click on these three dots and save it for offline use. It's really important that you do that. If you do that, you'll be able to find your design. If you don't do that, we're going to have a little bit of problem and you're not going to be able to find it. Now what you'll need to do is open your computer folder. And it's going to open your folder kind of wherever. But what you need to do is go down to this PC and you want to select your Windows C. Please ignore the fact that mine is super full. Then what you need to do is go to users. Then you'll find your profile. Now, if you have multiple people that use the same computer, you'll see more profiles here. But you want to go to your profile and then you want to go to the first folder. It should be the first folder and it's dot cricket dot design space that space. Um, you want to go ahead and click on this from here, go to local data and see this folder that has all the numbers in it. That's the folder we want. Now to make life easier, I always have mine kind of done by like the date. So mine are all organized by date modified. Go to your canvas and the first one, if you do it by date modified is going to be the design that you just made. You're going to be able to pull up the PNG file. Check this out. It's the PNG file of what we just made. Now we're going to head over to Canva and I'm going to show you how to make your mock-up and it's so simple. Over in Canva, you can really select whatever size you want to make. But for me, I'm just going to use this Instagram post square size because that's usually a good size for Facebook. It's usually a good size for Etsy, stuff like that. So it's just a matter of kind of figuring out where you're going to post it and the best size to use. Now I will say you're going to have a better luck doing this all through Canva if you have Pro. But if you don't have Pro, you can download mockups from places like Creative Fabrica, Design Bundles, Etsy, lots of places. I'll link some down below that I like. But if you have Canva Pro, all you need to do is go to where it says Photos over on the left-hand side. And I'm just going to search Shirt. As you can see, I've searched it before. And it's going to bring up all these different shirt options. So I kind of like this one. I think that looks like a good mockup. And all I want to do is kind of size it a little bit so it's bigger because I like to have my shirt really be the main focal point of my design. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go to uploads and remember we left that folder open with the PNG. Go back to that folder and I want you to drag and drop that PNG over into your Canva. It's completely free to upload so if you don't have a, uh, an account it's okay. Click on your upload and then you can size it so that it fits on to your shirt. Look at that, mock-up done. Now I probably would move this down just a little bit and you're gonna play with the sizing a little bit, play with the design, figure out what looks best for you and your mock-up, but your mock-up is done. Now, if you don't have Canva Pro, you can really easily upload a picture of your t-shirt. So I have one here, I just did the same thing. I just drag and drop and then you can size that design to however you want. So you can kind of make the shirt bigger if you want to. And then you can just go ahead and stick that design on to my shirt. I accidentally clicked it twice. And I can stick it right on to the shirt. Now these colors are a little bit too muted for this shirt, especially with the thin lines. But just keep that in mind when you're kind of picking out your colors. I knew I was doing this one on a dark shirt. So just kind of keep that in mind. But really easy to do. Now I am going to show you because I did upload one that has the two versions. So this one here is a version where I didn't take out the um, black lines from it. And you can see it does stand out on the shirt really well. But the issue with that is your buyer is going to see those little black lines and assume that those are already on your design. And they won't be because that's actually part of print then cut. So you definitely want to do one that is like this where it doesn't have those black lines because those black lines are just showing you where it's cutting around. So like I said, just make sure that you save it as a print then cut PNG. Once you've got your mock-up designed the way that you want it to be, all you need to do is go up to share in the upper right hand corner and you're going to choose download. Now you're going to be able to download this as a free user. So if you upload your own t-shirt image, upload your own image, everything you can do can be done for free. You want to download this as a PNG and just simply click download. 
it'll process and then it's going to ask you where you want to save your design. So for this one, I'm just going to save it into my Cricut folder and then I'm going to put it into my mock-up folder and I'm going to click save. Now you can open it, upload it to wherever you need to, your website, your Etsy shop, send it to a friend if they're looking to have a shirt made, something like that. And you can see how good this looks. It's so simple, so easy, so quick. If you guys have any questions, by all means, let me know in those comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. If you guys have a favorite place where you get your mock-ups, put those in the comments down below too. That way we can help out other crafters and creators. And are you somebody who's ever used a mock-up before? Do you like to just make one and make sure you can make it? Let me know. I always love to hear your guys' opinions and how you do your crafts as well. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And as always, happy crafting. Thank you.